In this video, um, I want to show you how to make uh, your own paintbrushes. And the reason I'm showing you this is in the last video when I was talking about painting on fabric, and I mentioned um, ink on linen, and um, in the information section, I put that probably the best ink to look into for that is sumi ink, which is Japanese calligraphy. And sumi ink is charcoal, um, some kind of animal hide glue, and either pine or vegetable oil. And then um, what you want is a full-bodied brush that can hold a lot of ink. And if, if you research Japanese calligraphy, the reason they make them that way is so that a whole page can be written with one brush. But anyway, um, so... I have brushes. It's not like I need a brush, but if you want to make things yourself um, and save bamboo brushes that are generally used with sumi ink are only about three dollars a piece. But if you want to save money, here's a bamboo stick, um, and if you don't have bamboo growing near you, you can use any twig. Um, this is bamboo, and the, the reason I recommend bamboo if you can find it around you is because bamboo grows with um, joints. And so the joint at the top or the end can work to hold what you're going, you know, the metal here in place. This is alpaca fiber, um, generally goat hair or sometimes wild boar or pig. Um, there are all kinds of different hairs that you can use, squirrel hair, um, sable, um, there's all kinds of things you can use. If you don't spin and you don't have fiber and you have a dog or a cat and you brush them or comb them, depending on um, the type of hair they have, like all my cats were Maine Coon cats, so they're double haired and um, you can use it. I've spun dog hair. Um, of spun cat hair. So depending on the pet you have, you might be able to use that. But this is alpaca, and what you need is pliers and wire cutters, um, inexpensive copper wire or aluminum wire, any kind of wire you have, and you're going to pull out a section of alpaca, um, a little lump out of a bunch or dog hair or whatever hair you have, I don't, I've never tried people hair. Um, and depending on the brush size you're trying to make, attach that much hair over the bump that's on bamboo. Twigs will do the same. A lot of twigs have a bump at the end. And just using the wire as a ferrule, just wrap that on there and make your own paintbrush. Now, the shaping of a brush is what the master brush makers are good at. So after, here's, here's the basic brush in vintage Schaefer ink. Um, and you can see, this is why it's used as sumi. They leave the point long like that. They don't cut it or shape it. And I do not do Japanese calligraphy. But you can see how you use the length of the brush to make the strokes. So, like I said, I'm, I'm not good at Japanese calligraphy, but if it were something like that, you use it just like any kind of a um, calligraphy pen is wide and you either use the flat edge or the wide edge. It's the same idea. You either use the thin edge or the wide edge. Very simple to make your own paintbrushes.